My name is Gary Friedman. I'm a professional photographer, and I want to tell you a story of my recent assignment in Vietnam. I was sent there to document the humanitarian work of an organization called Hearts for Hue, an NGO which is making a difference in the lives of the disadvantaged and neglected people in this once prominent city. While there, I discovered a small but amazing staff, and I got to meet many of the recipients. Let me tell you about what I found. Hearts for Hue works with several corporate donors around the world to administer programs to help its neediest citizens. The first is the chicken, pig, and duck raising program. Hearts for Hue donates livestock and trains recipients on how to care for them, breed them, and take them to market, as well as using them for feeding the family. This not only brings in disposable income, but it also helps feed the families and gives people meaningful work that they can do. 200 years ago, Everyone knew how to do this, but this knowledge has been lost through industrialization. More than 1,000 people who can't hold conventional jobs due to disabilities have been helped through this sustainability program. The second is the microfinance program, which issues small loans to groups within communities to help local businesses ramp up. Generally, these loans are made to groups of 10 or so families within the community. Larger loans are only made available once all the families pay the loans back, thereby giving some social pressure for everyone to repay the loans. The Clean Water and Sanitation Project, which has brought clean water and sanitary toilets, complete with septic tanks, to 10 households in a nearby mountain village. What you can't see is all the work uphill. They built a dam, they filtered the water, they brought the water to the houses. Hearts for Hue coordinated this huge effort with local authorities and international donors. They conduct literacy programs like the Motorbike Book Club. It's kind of like a bookmobile. Once a week, a representative comes to a small village to loan out books, mostly in English, but they have been hand translated into Vietnamese. The kids can also indulge in puzzles and play fun games before the visit ends. The solar program provides solar powered lights to areas that lack electricity and usually couples with the motorbike book club so they can read the books at night. Here's a fishing village, but people who live in the mountainous areas also benefit because it's hard to get electricity up there. When I was there, there was a small volunteer army from Singapore to help improve the kindergarten facilities. One thing I will never forget is meeting Miss Han one of the first recipients of Hearts for Hue's Chicken and Pig program for self-reliance. She was born with no arms, but is one of the sweetest and most positive people you'll ever meet. She was given 100 chickens, 50 ducks, and one piglet. The piglet has since given birth four times, with a litter of four to 16 piglets each time. She and her sister can live off the money when some of the animals are brought to market, plus they provide food. I found her attitude to be inspiring. I've been around. I've never seen such a small and dedicated staff have such a disproportionately large impact on the surrounding community. Please help Hearts for Hue in their mission to address poverty. A small contribution with these folks really does go a long, long way. Mo, hi, ba. Yo! Yo. <laughs>